What's up, everybody? Shashu Casper. Welcome back to another One Engine Theme uh, tutorial. Today, we're going to be setting up the portfolio section and um, doing some editing inside the functions PHP file to adjust the actual post itself. Um, I'm going to leave the menu alone for now. I'm going to teach you a little bit about it, but I'm going to. The main purpose of this tutorial is how to change the featured image size inside the post itself. I think that one engine was designed as uh, the portfolio section was designed specifically for uh, photos. So generally if you click on the portfolio uh, menu item and the post opens you want it to be just a large photo. But for someone like me who is using the theme for a music uh, website, I want the portfolio post to be a music player and keep the feature image rather small and have the music player be more prominent and uh, more the center of attention on the post itself. But uh, let's go ahead and set it up and I'll show you and talk more about what I'm going to be doing uh, and why. So uh, right now this is the home page that we've already established in the earlier tutorials and I want the portfolio to be above the services. So I'm going to come into container and drag, drop the open container up here. And by the way, this is Appearance Layout Builder, just in case you didn't know. Um, that looks cool. I'm going to close that, close it. And then I'm going to take the portfolio and put that right there. Um, I think, let's just leave it for 10 for now. I don't want to hide the filter. We're going to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and save the template. And now if we open up the, the website itself to see what we've got here, we should have a new section um, for the portfolio itself. Now we don't haven't set up any post for it, but here it is. This is where it's going to be, and it's going to auto-populate some uh, feature images down here for us. So let's go ahead and set up a post. We do that by coming over to the menu and going to Add New under the Portfolio section. And you're going to title it, obviously. And I'm making a, the portfolio, like I said, is going to be for music for um, Alan Walls. So we're going to be using this uh, title right here. And I'm just going to copy it and paste it. Copy. And paste it right in there. That looks good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to have to do is add a new category. And you want to be very careful about the categories you add because when you add a category it's going to show up to be able to sort through things. So for instance um, I'm going to want music as a category and I'm also going to want official and that's because it's an official release uh, it's not a free download but I'm also going to have uh, in the future download for uh, downloadable music but that is not this release so I'm just gonna get rid of that and I have a plugin set up for uh, SoundCloud short codes and um, so I'm gonna come into share embed WordPress and I'm actually gonna use this one and you'll see why in a little bit and uh, that looks good maybe change the color to blue I like the blue a little bit better and just take the short code here. Boom. So that looks pretty good. And we could, you know, come in and do some more stuff. But, oh, feature image. We want to set up a feature image. I'm going to upload that. And I'm just going to be using artwork that's 500 by 500. Here it is. Sweet. Upload. Set as feature. And that's all I want for the portfolio piece. I'm going to... I don't really want to write anything about the music. I just want the music to be there uh, for people to listen to. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this now. Actually, I'm going to come over and edit this URL. Wicked uh, original mix. And I'm just going to delete it. Uh, I like to keep these short just in case I have to type them in by hand. So that looks good. That looks nice and tidy. Um, save the draft and see which one of these categories it picked for the portfolio. And as you can see, it's not the same as usual uh, WordPress post, like on, under the blog, where it will take one of the categories and put it down here. The category will for 
forever be portfolio, and that has to do with the way the website is set up. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and publish. And then I'm going to come into here, refresh. And as you can see, it's auto-populated. Sweet. Now when I come over here, though, and I click on this, look what happens here. The artwork is the main feature of the post, and the player is kind of over here. And I want this to be the main feature of the post. I mean, I'm going to keep the artwork, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So the way I do that is I go into the PHP file called functions. So let's go ahead and get into that. Got my FileZilla open here, and I'm just coming into one engine after uh, WordPress content themes, one engine, clicking on that folder, and then you can find the functions PHP file right inside there. I'm going to take that, put it on the desktop. Now I'm going to right click, open it in my editor. And I'm going to come in and search for the column dash eight because it's uh, it's set up as a column system inside the PHP file. So I'm going to search for col dash md dash eight, and that's where it is. So once I close out of here, this is the size of the header image here, the thumbnail, which is it's actually stretched out bigger than the actual thumbnail itself. Um, and this is the actual post. And that could work if your main image is just what is supposed to be part of your portfolio, like a big image of uh, something, a picture you've taken or a graphic you've made, and then you just want a little blurb about it. But what I want is to kind of switch these numbers around. I think I'm going to go 3 up here and then 9 down here. And no matter what, you want these to add up to 12 just to keep everything nice and tight. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm out. I'm going to replace the functions PHP. Okay. And then come back in. And now when I refresh this page, uh, it's back up. But I, when I click on it now, you can see that it looks a little bit nicer now. I think this is a better looking setup than the other one. Uh, now this is more of where, where, where your, your eye is going to go. It's kind of in the center of the play button. And I think it looks a lot better than just having this big piece of artwork. And then people might find the player over on the side. So that's it. That's all I really wanted to show you for this. And you can just go on and continue to add um, portfolio pieces. And it will this nice sorter up here will work really nice. Uh, if you hit the download, free downloads will come up, and obviously that uh, official release will go away because it's not an, uh, a free download. But uh, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. I just wanted to show you how to switch the actual posts uh, inside of the PHP file. I hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.